Australian mining and tourism billionaire Clive Palmer announced plans on Monday to build a 21st century version of the Titanic, with a Chinese state-owned company more than 100 years after the original sank, killing 1,500 people. The luxury liner claims to be every bit as luxurious as the original, and is expected to make its maiden voyage from England to North America, the old Titanic route, late in 2016. Palmer said his new shipping company, Blue Star Line, has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Chinese state-owned company CSC Jingling Shipyard to build the Titanic II. We think it will be a, a, a great achievement. It will also be a great tribute to the people who designed the original Titanic. It was certainly their intention that their work and the skill and their endeavours survived into the future. And we, want, we think we've got a vested interest in ensuring that it survives into the, into the uh, next century. The new Titanic would add to Palmer's tourism portfolio, which includes golf and spa resorts in the state of Queensland. Most of Palmer's wealth comes from real estate and coal mining in Queensland. The original Titanic, the largest liner in the world when it launched, sank after hitting an iceberg on April 15, 1912. A Titanic historian at Australia's National Maritime Museum said the connection with the original would not put people off from sailing on her. Well, curiously, in spite of the name, I think there'll be quite a few people who will wish to travel on it because of the Titanic connection. Uh, when the James Cameron movie came out in 1997, there was an upswing of, in interest in cruising among the general public because of the Titanic movie. Um, what I'd be interested in is the longevity of that interest. Uh, you know, would it sustain itself uh, after that initial curiosity and novelty factor has worn off? The design work has started for the new Titanic, which will have the same dimensions as the old version, with 840 rooms and 9 decks. Marisa Christian, Ivy Times TV.